Hello everybody, my name is Ishan Jolly, also known as the Johnny Legend. I'm a voiceover artist and a Twitch streamer, and welcome to this video, where I'm showcase how to use OBS to make your microphone sound as good as possible. So, let's get into it, shall we? Let's go. Right, so here's my OBS, as you can see, here's my microphone, and here's how everything is going. Right, so the first step you need to make sure is that you set your microphone gain to a certain, to like a decent level because you don't want to be too loud so that it starts clipping, and you don't want it to be too quiet to the point where it's very hard to hear. So, uh, what an ideal uh, sort of setting is to start off with, for me at least, since I like uh, make my streams a bit louder, it might be different to how other people set it up, but how I do it, is that the starting gain, so whenever you talk, it should be like in the high greens to the, to the yellows. So if I start speaking very loud, it should get to about minus five-ish at the most. And that's if I start shouting very loud. It's fine. It's completely fine if audio clips. Only if, like, it happens every once in a while. Like, clipping is not a big deal. If it's, like, at a moment where you're shouting very, very loud. However, if you're clipping all the time, that sounds very, very annoying. And don't. Make sure your gain is set, as a, set at a correct level because of that. Right. So, uh, if your gain is in between, like, minus 25 and minus 5, perfect. Uh, that should be a decent level to where your audio is hitting, like when you just speak at a regular voice, like how you would on stream, and it's around here-ish. Perfect. That's the that's that's fantastic. So uh, make sure your mic is gain matched to this level perfectly before any effects are applied. Right. Let's go into the filter, shall we? The first filter I would add is a noise gate. I don't actually like the sound of noise gates when you can hear them, so I make sure the noise gate is very subtle, just to take out some small background noise before we do some compression. Okay. Let's go. Just these default settings are way, way too much. What I would do is, uh, minus 55 there, minus 55 here. So it's very subtle and only cuts out, like, small background noise. And, uh, I would make the attack time as fast as possible, because, like, I want to, as soon as I start speaking, the noise gate, like, stops. So that's what I want. Um, and the other two, uh, hold time and release time, seem perfectly fine by, uh, by default. Right. Okay, next up we have my favorite, uh, effect for streaming, compression. Right, so compression, it levels out the audio balance, so it makes the quietest moments louder, and the loudest moments quieter. So first off, I set the ratio to 4 by one So let me see if I can uh, show both the levels. Ah, uh, my face comes kind of covering. Can I make it smaller? There we go. Okay, that's that's decent enough. Now you can see the levels here, and you can see uh, the uh, thing as well. So I made the ratio 4 by one which means like that's the ratio of how much the audio's been compressed by. And the ratio is like, uh, the, the ratio? I combined words, didn't I? The threshold is, is like, when the audio goes above this level, it starts compressing. Whenever it's below it, it doesn't. So, I like the default threshold of minus 18. Actually, I liked, I like minus 20. So that's what I go with. Uh, yeah, minus 20. And a ratio 4 by 1. So whenever the audio goes above minus 20, um, anything above that gets divided by 4 in volume. So that's what the ratio is. The division. And uh, the attack, I like to set at 3, and uh, release at 30. Because I just like a really quick uh, compressor, because it sounds very, like, sort of bold and radio-esque when it's nice and quick. So as you can probably hear, my voice is much quieter now, because the compressor has brought down the loudest parts of the, of the audio. So then what I do to bring it back up is set the output gain. Uh... Okay, maybe that's a bit much. Because uh... I saw it clip there. And then what I do to bring it back up is set the output game higher. So all this thing did is made uh, so the loudest moments are quieter, and then bring up the output gain, raise the whole signal back up, so that it's like broadcast ready. Because right now, when I start speaking quietly, you can still hear me very clearly. And then when I start shouting, I'm clipping, but like, that's not a big deal because I'm literally shouting about this far from a microphone. If, uh, as long as you're not like shouting like all the time, if you're shouting all the time, just turn this down a bit more, or increase the ratio. Like, if I made the ratio, like, 10 to 1, um, now you can still kind of hear me, uh, and make the output gain a bit higher, you can still hear me when I'm quiet, but when I start shouting really, really loud, it's not clipping. Okay, clip there. OBS. Okay, the OBS compressor is different to the GoXLR compressor. I'm so used to the one in the GoXLR. So, hey, now that the ratio is much higher, like, you can see that it's not clipping whatsoever, no matter how f***ing loud I shout. I gotta, uh, cut that out, because I just sweared. God damn it. I did it again. <laughs> My bad. Right. 
but now you can see with this compressor, but sometimes compression can be a bit much. I prefer 4x1 because it's a bit more natural sounding. And yeah, if, as long as you don't uh, shout too much, or have too much dynamic range, like go from really quiet to really loud all the time on stream, because if you do that, then yeah, go with a very heavy compressor. But if you just have like a normal sort of speaking voice that sometimes gets a bit louder, and then sometimes gets a bit quieter, then this is perfectly fine for that. So yeah, you just play around with the output gain to make sure that your voice is around here-ish. In like, in between minus 10, minus 3-ish. Because that's what I like to have, but uh... I don't know why it's clipping so much. <laughs> but yeah, um... What I'd like to do above that is just add a limiter, add minus 1. So a limiter basically makes so the audio cannot go above this, like... And no matter how loud I shout! Audio is limited to minus one and just cannot go above it, no matter what. So that's, I like that, it's a very sim it's very simple and prevents any sort of clipping. But if your gain is set too high on the microphone, it can still clip no matter what you do here. So that's why you've got to make sure the gain is set correctly beforehand. Alright, so, the final uh, thing I do is equalization. Uh, so, um, OBS doesn't have a built-in equalizer, so what you want to do is go to Google and search for Reaper plugins. I can't spell, apparently. Go here. And just download this one here, install it, and then it should instant it should automatically pop up right here. It should have them all here. So I go to re-EQ, and then open the plugin interface. Now you can see, um, are you active? This should be like tracking my voice right now. Hmm. There we go. Okay, I don't know what just happened there, but yeah, I just click reset, and now now you can see the frequencies of my voice again. So with this microphone, you can see all the frequencies that it's picking up. You can see that most of my voice is around 100 hertz, uh, and uh, you can see some of the like treble extension, like when we're gonna S sound, it's like S is very strong around here-ish, which is what, uh, 7,000 hertz. But let's uh, default this again, <laughs> just to make it so that uh, it's not um, changing the EQ before I do anything. So what I like to do is, um, these are default settings that should just work for anyone. Maybe not, depending on your voice, I don't know, or microphone, but you can play around with this. What I'd recommend doing is start a recording, mess around with these settings after what I teach you, and uh, just listen around and, and see how it goes, and just uh, listen to all the settings on the recording back, and then you can tell which one you like the most. So, uh, well, I, I don't do this, but I would recommend that most people do this, is um, get a high-pass filter, and set it to 80 hertz. So as you can hear, it probably took out quite a lot of the... Uh, the lower end of my voice, like you can see right here, like these low frequencies, they're being cut out, as you can see on this like little uh, graph thingy here. And uh, for my voice, I don't like that particularly, but for a lot of voices, they don't go that low. Like most human voices kind of end around 80 hertz for men, and I think it's around 150 hertz for women, I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that, but I think that's about how much it is. So, um, you can just cut out everything below it, because like, a lot of, like, noises that aren't too pleasant, like, uh, rumble from, like, boilers or cars or, like, bumps on your desk, a lot of that is in the low frequency range, uh, below 80 hertz. So, if you can cut all that stuff out, it'll make your voice sound cleaner and get rid of, like, any excess stuff that you don't really need. Because even now, this might even clean up my voice a little bit, because, like, I have a bassy voice. This could take out some of the bass and make my voice sound cleaner. And if you like that sound, then go for it. I like that. I like for there to be a bit of bass in my voice. So I don't do a high pass filter, because like if I turn this off, then you can probably hear a bit more uh, bass in my voice compared to now. But hey, um, what I would recommend is just go record the thing, start recording, move this up, and you can just start to hear how thin my voice gets. So what I would recommend doing is just make it higher and higher until you don't notice it having an effect on your voice. So, make a recording and speak and like kind of low in your like voice frequency, as low as you would get on stream. Not as low, like, see if I'm speaking like this, I'm speaking higher, right now I'm speaking lower with more bass. So speak lower with like as much, not as much bass, but like a decent amount of bass in your voice. And then just keep making it higher and higher until you can definitely hear it making an effect on your voice. So right now my voice should sound very, very thin. So yeah, uh, I would just... So if I was doing it, I'd set mine to like 50, uh, to just not cut out too much of my voice. But as general purpose settings, 80 is perfectly fine. Cuts out a lot of the, a lot of the like, low bass stuff. And, uh, sounds clean on most voices. Right. So next up, I like to boost the bass. At around 100 hertz, I like to boost by... Around, let's say, 4 decibels. Let's, let's give it 4 decibels of, uh, boost in the bass region. So, this should have like a bit of, like, uh, thickness and, like, uh... Uh, that boomy sound, like, uh, the bassy sound, like, it's just a nice sound that I kind of like to hear. 
And uh, that's what I set as my second band. And uh, just copy all these settings, make sure it's a band, 100 hertz, gain at 4, bandwidth at uh, 2. And uh, this is a high pass filter, make sure that's uh, set to high pass and not something else like low shelf <laughs> or something. Oh, high shelf, just, just put this at a high pass filter here. And there we go. Now we've cut out the sub bass and we boosted some of the bass in the voice. So the voice sounds thicker, but also a bit cleaner. Right. And now uh, we cut out some of like the uh, upper bass, lower mid area to make the microphone just sound like uh, clearer and nicer. So I like to go around uh, 350 hertz, just in between 200 and 500. You can move it around uh, later and hear what you like better and just cut by minus two. So it, just, it should just clear up the voice a little bit. So you can just move it around like here, like here, how it sounds. But now it's impeding with the bass. Or you can make it higher in here, how it sounds there. I like around 350 Hz as sort of a cut region, just to make the voice sound a bit clearer and brighter sounding. And finally, so the microphone I'm using right now, the Lewitt microphone, is very bright. So it might not even need a treble boost for your voice or anyone's voice. But I like to boost the treble. A uh, high shelf, 5000 Hz, with a bandwidth of 1. And I like to boost by 3 decibels. I think 3 decibels is a nice boost to add a bit more clarity, add a bit of sparkle, add a bit of sheen. Uh, you can go with 6 decibels if you want that really, really, really bright sort of sound that I hear some people using. I wouldn't recommend on this microphone because this microphone is already very bright, but hey, if you're using like a darker microphone, like the Shure SM7B or something, then you can mess around with these settings however you want. So, anything above 5000 hertz adds like air and sparkle and like lots of detail to the voice, and I really like the way it sounds. Um, around here is that sort of mud. So making it low and add like a bit more clarity to the voice. This is the bass region. It makes your voice sound fuller and stronger. And the sub bass, it's not normally in most people's voices. So cut out as much as you can until you can hear it affect your voice. So those are what these little frequency regions do. So feel free to just start recording in OBS, play around with these settings, and then just watch back the recording and see what you hear back. And like when you mess, you move up and down, you can hear back what it does in the video, and then you can see which your settings you like the best. But there we go. So, uh, now I can show before and after. Right. So here we have the microphone before any effect has been done. Absolutely raw, no EQ, no compression, no noise gating, no limiting. Absolutely just the microphone by itself. And now we have all the effects applied. Now the microphone should sound very bright, very bold, very powerful, like, just perfect for streaming. And that's just how it goes. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You know what? Let's not do the outro here. Yeah, here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I greatly appreciate you being here and seeing, and if you stay to the end, please uh, leave a like and subscribe, because I would greatly appreciate you boosting my channel, because <laughs> it greatly helps with the algorithm and everything. I have a Discord server uh, and a Twitch channel and everything, so uh, feel free to hop into my Twitch chat, ask me any question you wish, and I can help you out with mic stuff, and uh, join my Discord server, I've got a section audio video gear, where you can talk about both audio and video gear, <laughs> so ask anything about cameras or microphones or GoXLR or anything, OBS, all that sort of stuff, feel free to ask in my Discord, everything is linked down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are absolutely awesome. See you all later, and goodbye.